scriptures talk about a blessedness that happens to a man whose delight is in the law of God. So as someone says, it says, but his delight is in the law of God. And doth he meditate day and night. He says that that man is like a tree planted by the rivers of water, whose leaves do not wither, when he bears fruit in every season. As you are about listening to this message, we believe that your life is going to be like that man planted by the rivers of water. Your leaves are forever going to bear. And we know that your, your season will not pass by. You will forever shine and you will forever bear fruit. We have a lot of content to share with you. So we would entreat you to subscribe to this channel as well as like us. Hit that notification bell to receive more updates from us because we know that whatever content here is going to set you on calls at every time. It's going to make you attain whatever stature that Christ wants you to attain. Thank you. Are you Lord privilege to bring the word of the Lord to us every time and see the most powerful thing about the word of God is its ability to produce results if the word of God did not have the ability to produce results we will be wasting our time I just want you to imagine for one minute that everything you have believed were a lie that would be a complete waste of time years invested in the pursuit of the spirit only to find out it's a lie but we thank the lord because that which is written here is true it can change lives you hear the testimonies all the time and tonight we will be changed in the name of jesus christ hallelujah i think a lot and one of the things that i think about is the level of transformation an impact that God has granted unto us as individuals and as a ministry to be able to communicate a dimension of spiritual reality to help build and strengthen the body of Christ and I think it's a great privilege you see the more you know God the more you see how easy it is for him to do without you are we together the more you know God, the more you have an encounter with his might. The more you see how small and inconsequential you are in the overall equation of his will. And then you see how much is a privilege for him sometimes to have to wait on you and wait on your will to cooperate with him before he moves. Are we together? And our lives... Um, are a reflection of such a testimony that it looks as though it is difficult for God to do without us although he has all the power and he seems to always patiently carry us along his program and it's a privilege for us to represent his purposes not only in this city but in many regards around different areas of this nation and around the world it's a pleasure and it's a privilege and we thank him let us never forget these things there's so many people thousands of people following us right now from different parts of the world we are here different people coming from different places um you know sometimes we get so used to how easy the anointing of the spirit can make things become that we think it is so for everyone and sometimes we get so familiar with the dealings, the operation of God's anointing, that 
when we take our time to lavishly give him thanks like this it looks like a waste of time but then the success and everything that you see in our lives and as a ministry is built on laws and one of it is a heart that is passionately committed to saying thank you are we together if if this is all we do today as boring as it may seem as unspiritual as it may seem and as spiritually basic as it may seem for many this is the key that has kept god in touch with many mighty people they know how to go back and say lord thank you your grace your grace i'm nothing without you it's your grace your grace shines on me sing it from your heart your grace your grace i'm nothing without you your grace, your grace shines on me. Shines on me, shines on me. But I'm everything with you. Shines on me. Shines on me, it's your grace. Hallelujah. Lord, we sincerely thank you. We sincerely thank you for the privilege of being the ones to partner with you in birthing such magnificent testimonies in the lives and the destinies of people. It is not within the power of any man to change any life. But with God, all things are possible. And Lord, we thank you for being the secret, the mystery, the law, and the reason behind our success and the lifting. Why should I keep what people say? They don't know. What you mean to me, they don't know. What you mean to me, truly, they don't know. What you mean to me, they don't know. But I'm glad I know what you mean to me. I'm glad I know what you mean to me. You are the air I breathe. You are the air. Your very presence that is living in me. Just let me pour out my heart for a few moments before His presence. You are my daily bread. You are my daily bread. You are my Your very word that is spoken to me, oh, oh, and now I'm desperate for you.
not a song, it's the truth. And I'm desperate for you. I'm lost without you. Shabakata la barato sutu. This is part of the meeting. It's an atmosphere for you. I'm desperate for you. I love you. I need you. I love you. I need you. tired of saying thank you to the one who has made us all that we are. We sincerely acknowledge you. You are faithful. Above and beyond our limitations and weaknesses, you are faithful. You have chosen us and you have put your name upon our lives and destinies. You see the wonder, the wonder you have made out of our lives. We are deeply grateful. We are deeply grateful. We are deeply grateful. We are deeply grateful. Deeply grateful. Deeply grateful. Deeply grateful. Sabakota Kashi. Zikoto Sukoto Kabarati. your place take your
Let me just hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Let's hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Hold hands with someone and begin to pray in the spirit. Just make contact. Oh, like a bride waiting for her groom. Even so, come. Even so, come. Even so, come. Keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. There is something that will lead heaven to this place. Keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying, keep praying. Keep praying. Keep praying. Rakata parada balada 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 Hey, na 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 na, Maria, na 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 na, oh, so na na, Maria, na na, 
Hallelujah. We are going to pray one more time. If you are sick in your body, just lay your hands there. There is a strong healing anointing in this place right now. You are sick anywhere in your body. Lay your hands. Lay your hands. I see the power of God about to touch people in a few minutes. Miracles of healing. The Lord is healing migraine headache right now. There are people suffering from intense migraine headache. The power of God is touching you right now. Right now. Right now, right now, I'm seeing, um, I'm seeing a lady having severe, like, like menstrual cramps, severe menstrual cramps. Right now, as I speak, the power of God is touching, 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 touching. That pain leaves right now. That pain leaves right now. There is a spirit that has been walking with a lady. You literally feel as if there is a man walking by your side. That spirit is leaving you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. That spirit is leaving you right now. This is Zion, the city of the Lord. There's someone, your voice, for a while, your voice has been unable to be clear. It's like there's something hooking you. You're going to feel like fire on your throat right now. Right now, and your voice will come back to normal. Right now right now hotness of the body that's what the lord is telling me father we give you all the glory hotness of the body hotness of the body is living right now there is someone you brought your mother your mother is in this place she's been unable to sleep for a long time she can't even sleep but right now the power of god is coming upon her and that devil is giving way right now that devil is giving way right now that devil is giving way right now. That devil is giving way right now. There's someone you have a boil, like a boil in your nose, right inside your nose. The power of God is touching it. Not only will it be healed, it will disappear right away. You will touch it and you will not feel anything. Right now, the Lord is touching. The Lord is touching. The Lord is touching. I'm seeing a river in the realm of the spirit. That's what I'm seeing flowing into this place. A river. It's a river of miracles. Many will be swept by that river. It's a river that flows from the love and the throne of God. It's a river bringing healing. Bringing healing. Bringing healing. There are, there are miracles going on. Healing miracles. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. There's a spectacular miracle that the Lord wants to do for many people. Hallelujah. I'm seeing a group of people in the realm of the spirit. You used to hear God in profound dimensions. But from the beginning of this year, something happened to your hearing and it's an attack from the gate of hell now please pay attention i'm speaking by the spirit it's an attack from darkness upon your hearing and it's like something has closed you some of you don't even know you are part of it i'm about to pray for you 
because that that prophetic dimension you need it to hear what i want to teach you tonight you need it there are some dimensions of spiritual communication that you cannot understand it scientifically and the lord is asking me to pray therefore father i stretch my hands on your people every gate of the prophetic that has been closed every gate every gate the hearing ear let that grace be released right now the hearing ear the hearing ear Sata many of you will hear the sound of angels instantly instantly inside outside those following on our social media platform the lord is opening the lord is opening prophetic dimensions the sharing of the spirit authentic sharing not nonsense an authentic hearing shakataba sheketekata rakata pakotosia for some of you it is restoration 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 what happened to your hearing that you no longer hear the sounds of the spirit like fire is coming on the ears of people fire fire fire, fire falling on people fire a restoration of hearing a restoration of hearing a restoration of hearing lift your hands there are people here your dreams used to be prophetic but it was hard and my god is saying, something is happening to your spirit man the hand of god is coming upon your spirit man the hand of god coming upon your spirit man right now dreams 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 shaka patata stretch dreams where you will understand the counsel of god in the visions of the night the counsel of god in the visions of the night the counsel of god in the visions of the night hallelujah hallelujah the last thing i'll pray for before we sit down is sensitivity listen let me tell you if you lack sensitivity in this season and in this time you will never be able to be in sync with what god is saying sensitivity is like breathing in the realm of the spirit to be able to understand the impulses of the spirit and align yourself with what the spirit is doing and saying he said the sons of Issachar they had an understanding of the time and they knew what Israel ought to do I want to pray for you there is a grace that makes men sensitive many of us used to be sensitive especially our sisters something has happened to your sensitivity but in the name of Jesus Christ I pray this is a mountain of the Lord's house where grace is sufficient grace is sufficient right now i stretch my hands may that grace begin to fall on men and women let it fall let it fall sensitivity discernment sensitivity discernment sensitivity discernment to the speakings of the spirit sensitivity discernment to the speakings of the spirit mighty on your throne mighty on your throne you were mighty on your throne hey mighty on your throne you were mighty in this place mighty on your throne you were mighty on your throne mighty on your throne you were mighty on your you were mighty on your mighty in my life mighty in my life you were mighty in my life you were mighty in my life
Father, we pray that you go ahead and do everything you intend for us to experience tonight. Right beyond our dimensions, right beyond our perceptions, right beyond our yieldedness. I know, God, I pray that you activate strange things in the lives of people. Strange things in the lives of people. Please sit down carefully if you can. Tonight will be a night of strange impartations. If you can, just sit down and let your heart be open. Let your spirit be sensitive. No carelessness, no distraction. Please. Koinonia is a place of impartation. You need impartation to rise and step into your prophetic destiny. There are times that certain things need to be activated. Nothing can cover for noise and stories. You must come into the reality of certain experiences and impartation is one of the platforms that can bring you into those realities. Once again, I welcome everyone. This is Koinonia. Tonight is a night of strange impartations. And there is a reason why God is doing it. There is a reason why God is bringing us to this dimension of impartations. It's not just for nothing. Listen, in the course of my teaching, I'll be very brief tonight. But in the course of my teachings, there will be different kinds of anointings just coming in. You get this in Koinonia. Koinonia is a place where things are activated. And so when your word comes, it will come upon you. Yours is just to be sensitive. As I teach, there will be dispensing of graces. Dispensing of graces. Be sensitive. Don't just hear what I'm saying. A time will come. Yours will come upon you. So it's going to be a noisy meeting. Don't worry. You will hear what I'm saying. But as I teach, people will receive things. Will receive things. Inside, outside, everywhere. You will receive things. Shabratu sakuratu sabrita shidahari. Listen. The church must pay the price for a genuine anointing that will really be able to bring God to the scene. The church must pay the price for a genuine, authentic anointing that will be able to bring true results for people. The only way we can become a revelation of the Christ, I'm telling you this, is to contend for a dimension in the spirit that affords us the privilege of hosting superior dimensions of the presence and the power of God. Talk is cheap. It's easy to make a lot of noise in the body of Christ. It's easy to stand upon many doctrinal and theological dissertations communicating the things that we believe should be but in the final analysis people need to experience the reality of the kingdom and i think this is where a lot of we pastors have not done justice for people a lot of us are speaking prophets a lot of us are mighty pastors and apostles and prophets and bishops we can communicate spiritual reality but the challenge is when it comes to the practical demonstration of the essence of our communication we try to create all kinds of theological excuses so there are so many things we teach that god is there are so many things we teach that god can do there are so many realities we we whet the appetite of god's people by opening them up to the possibilities that can be in the spirit but it is so frustrating when people's appetites are to the apex yet we sustain the power and the life to experientially draw them into those experiences so we teach on healing 
we teach on different kinds of healing different dimensions of healing and then in the final analysis the sick person still goes back sick the cancer patient still goes back with, with their cancers we are happy about dispensing theologically arranged communications but the bible says listen the bible tells us that the gospel listen is not just about the excellency of speech right but the demonstration of power to the end that the faith of people will not be founded upon the wisdom of men but upon the power of god no matter what you say about god if you cannot bring him to the scene for me to relate with his might you have wasted my time i may applaud you for your intelligence and your ability to be flawless in your research but let me tell you something in the final analysis people need to be transformed demons are not a theory they are real sicknesses are not a theory they are real oppression is not a theory it is real poverty is not a theory it is real only preaching largely are theories blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god hallelujah the lord showed me a vision a few days ago and in that vision i saw so many people in the church weary and tired that's what i saw in the vision including pastors i saw people seated and stranded no message because everything to be preached have been preached i saw members frustrated and humiliated and the lord began to reveal to me that it is a strategy please pay attention it's a prophetic teaching tonight it's a strategy by the kingdom of darkness because when you study when you listen to my teaching why revivals fail i shared with you dear a strategy with which satan uses to defeat many believers satan will never strike you at your point of strength he knows that all men are human although we are divine there is a human component to us so the moment you are doing the work of the kingdom advancing the purposes of the kingdom fervent in prayer strong in the world the devil will not attack you he knows that there is one thing that is common to all men is called exhaustion the reality of our humanity that no matter how powerful you are no matter how anointed you are a time must come when the reality of your humanity will meet up with you it is at that point that men are separated from the boys it is at that point that only those who sustain a system in the spirit to continue will stand i saw that vision i saw faces i recognized and i could not believe that such great men could be weary now you see a man of god can be weary and you will not know because don't mistaken the grace upon a man to dispense truth and his personal growth and progress there are two different things i can be as dry and weary as whatever but when i stand upon this pulpit the anointing that comes with my office will make me act so flawless you will not know that i'm at the verge of giving up are we together most times we mistaking the grace and the unction that accompanies the office of a man to mean that because that grace looks ever fresh ever flowing in power that it necessarily means the person is highly motivated and happy no there are times i've been so tired physically tired going for meetings and i i can sometimes it looks like i can't stand for 15 minutes but the moment i hold that mic i no longer become joshua selman an apostolic anointing comes and i can stand for hours now you may mistake in my strength to mean that i am not weak do you know sometimes when i get back home even to eat becomes a problem are we together 
so i saw weariness in that vision i saw many people gassing out in prayer literally like a meter just diminishing i saw people gassing out in their world level and one of the areas that i saw people crying is the area of not getting results financially and otherwise it was frustrating people i saw quarrels between people fathers mothers different people i saw pastors fighting themselves and i was wondering what is the meaning of all this nonsense and the lord told me this is what the devil wants to bring he's taking advantage of the economic tide that is sweeping the nations as a tool and he wants to wreak havoc in the lives of people are we together part of the advantages of a true apostolic ministry is to have an eye that sees and the ability to perceive the impulses of the spirit part time and communicate to people the realities that are the emphasis of God for that moment that's why we pray for perception because there are many of us if your perception were alive you would have picked the signal let me tell you something it's important to gauge your spiritual growth don't let men clap you into spiritual mediocrity what are you an MOG for when you cannot perceive the impulses of the spirit what are you a campus fellowship president for or a pastor or an apostle when the things of the spirit happen discussions are going on in the realm of the spirit and your presence cannot be registered because you have not sustained an ability to rise beyond your flesh and understand the speakings of the spirit hallelujah ministry is not all about preaching but the ability to perceive the impulses of people when god makes you a leader he commits unto you the destinies of people it's your responsibility now to be in sync with the spirit habakkuk chapter 2 verse 1 says i will stand upon my watch and i will set myself upon the tower it says and i will see what the lord will say not hear what he will say see perceive conceive what he's saying When I saw this, my heart really broke. Especially when I saw faces I could recognize. I saw that people had gas out. Truly. Mothers who used to have a very strong prayer altar. I saw the thing going down. Usually it starts through carelessness. Here and there. Even if you don't pray one week, it doesn't matter. There's grace for me. I'll come again. And then before you know it, completely void of power. And you know the interesting thing? No matter how bad you are, the devil will never strike you. He's smart. If he strikes you, you will go for a retreat very fast. And you will come back. So he will allow you to keep moving. There is a threshold level. It's like a cage in the spirit. You keep going down. He will not strike keep going down one day he will aim at you and if not for the mercy of god and the prophetic he will hit you bad blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who comes in the name of our god blessed is he who can hallelujah i will share with you three keys the lord revealed to me that if not managed will strengthen the power of darkness to cause the havoc that it plans to cause take note of this month july you see this month july there is there is intense warfare going on in the realm of the spirit those who are sensitive know those who are not sensitive just assume and move carelessly and foolishly until they become victims this month mark this month july you see is a month of intense spiritual building you need to build capacity for the months to come victory is assured but the strength of many will be tested in the months to come you will see this happen the strength of men of god the strength of people their their spiritual capacity will be tested 
and only those who have built fortification in the spirit the bible says for us to redeem the time take advantage of the time are we together so the devil is attacking the prayer lives of people dramatically you see he's not attacking it by stopping you from praying i will show you the things the first thing that the devil is using to sabotage the prophetic advancement of believers and the church listen is exhaustion the reality of the weariness of our bodies the reality of that weariness exhaustion psychological exhaustion physical exhaustion are we together so when people gas out they come to a point where it no longer makes sense to wait upon the lord and trust the lord because many hopes have been disappointed many dreams seemingly look like they are shattered people look at their experience versus their prophecy and it does not match and so many are fainting including the great ones who should stand to strengthen many people and there's nothing to be embarrassed there that's why god is opening us up to it so that we will rise is god blessing us exhaustion weariness that fatigue that spiritual fatigue where you want to study your bible and you just look at it and it looks like a burden you want to open your bible and study it looks like a burden you buy books but you don't read them you buy dvds but you can't watch them there seems to be a spirit that takes advantage of our humanity and our weariness so you are buying books you are buying tapes you are downloading messages those around will think you are taking advantage of them but you know that it's been a long time since you made contact with these resources not because you are not of god it's called weariness exhaustion even the young men shall faint and the youth will utterly fall he says that's the first thing that i saw that the devil is taking advantage of to destroy people just destroy people just destroy people the second thing that the lord revealed to me is financial limitation write it down i saw a lot of people whose focus had been distracted and the reason was because there were no resources i saw okay, churches groups people even people who used to participate actively in the house of god prayer meetings prayer groups the reality of the stress and strain that lack of finances brings a lot of people started asking themselves questions look we're, we're humans let's go and, and and solve our family needs first and it's a plot it's a plot by darkness are we together where believers go to pray and they can't pray because of financial weariness and even if they pray the entire circumference of their prayer is lamentation and a plea for open heavens you may not realize it but it's a strategy it's a strategy listen let me tell you something satan weighs the governments of nations like a treasure on a balance and manipulates them according to his desire this thing called mammon is satan's weapon of mass destruction mammon mammon that spirit the only spirit that jesus taught that you can worship either him or that spirit he never said satan he said you cannot serve two masters so in any way your servanthood must be registered either to god or to mammon hallelujah in that vision i saw people losing jobs companies downsizing people there are not many times you hear me speak prophetically like this but you write it and see i saw it happening to people are we together several people confused even do you know that pastors and churches went down financially because their members 
they didn't have the means you know offerings and tithes and all of that and it was a weariness to people and subtly the teachings about spiritual growth the teachings about empowerment intimacy encounter began to diminish because the pastors were forced to have to continue talking about finances it became as though it was the only key that will have to keep the people coming to the churches are we together when i saw this thing my heart dropped and I said, my God, what is this? You have to do something about this nonsense because the devil wants to take advantage of the economic tide that is sweeping Africa and that spirit that is sweeping Nigeria, that bitterness, that offense. Many people no longer pay attention to God. You meet somebody and talk to him about spiritual growth and the person will even tell you to go away. Why? Because we have said it unapologetically in this ministry that when your finances is not secured it will affect your spiritual life there's no confusion about it i hope you believe what i'm sharing with you oh please you better do please you better do because it will happen the third thing i saw was it's like flies you know how house flies like a swarm of flies now there are times i've seen these things prophetically and i've shared them here over but i saw a swarm of flies just coming across regions ah, and i looked at it and the lord took my mind back to the plague one of the plague that happened in the days of moses when those the swamp of flies came around and began to consume people and i had in my spirit the ministry of the devourer manifesting as sicknesses manifesting as tragic events and ultimately death i saw this thing rampant manifestation of mysterious sicknesses that cannot be diagnosed in hospitals they will check you with machines and say nothing is, is happening blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Blessed are you For you come In the name of our God I'm not a prophet of doom But I saw the tears in Nigeria in the month of September it was almost unbearable I'm not just listen to me I've not finished preaching I'm not a prophet of doom but I saw it was bad economically and otherwise it was it was like this country was completely clueless and at a point of a mess I saw people being um, what do they call it laid off from work completely laid off husbands wives laid off their services were no longer needed in different sectors including government sectors they downsized people because they needed to accommodate what was happening are we together i saw an increase in crime rate theft stealing including stealing people not just stealing things stealing people Why is God revealing this to scare you? No. God is revealing this to strengthen you. He will never bring a prophecy without a strategy. Just keep following. There is always an exemption for the church. But the problem most times is we don't pay attention. There are people who hear what I'm saying now. I'm, I'm sorry, especially for elderly people. They just shut down and say, all these idiots talking again. And then until it happens, and then we become victims. Of situations and circumstances you see let me tell you something prophecy prophecy in its purest form was designed not just to give people to make people privy to something that will happen the most important part of prophecy is the strategy for exemption not what will happen 
the strategy for exemption any true prophet that brings a word from the lord especially if it's a word that is on the negative side if it came from god god must be able to speak to his people and say this is a strategy you can choose it especially for certain things that are written judgments you cannot pray them away but there is a system like the flood of noah there was a system that was built called the ark like the passing of the angel of death upon egypt the mystery of the blood of the lamb and the passover right it was the mystery of exemption but you see the church we we have this ugly mentality which came from a misguided understanding of what the new testament teaches i can relate with god i don't need to hear anybody leave me alone if he's so god will speak to me if god has not spoken to me i will not listen let me tell you something listen i was teaching the school of ministry students our spiritual growth is based on our personal relationship with the lord jesus christ but the advancement of the kingdom is based on covenants you have to understand this your spiritual growth and my spiritual growth is based on my personal encounter my knowledge of who god is his ways and that's how i grow in the old testament it used to be through prophets and mediums but now the bible tells us that jesus has come as a mediator he's opened a new and living way to all of us we can now access god directly in terms of spiritual growth but the advancement of god's kingdom is not general god finds men and enters a covenant with those men to represent his dealings in a particular dimension and every time god wants to deal with a territory in that dimension it must come through those channels they are called spiritual tribes they represent the communication of god's purposes in a dimension so when you talk about faith every time god wants to bring his speakings as regards the word of faith there are spiritual channels he has entered a personal covenant with and align them to be able to communicate his purposes in that respect bishop oyedeko kenneth copeland you can trace that spiritual tribe and they represent his communications in that regard are we together there are other dimensions when the spirit of revival wants to fall upon the nation there are people who represent the spiritual tribe that communicates that reality to the world it's not general so your tapping into that possibility only becomes on the strength of your alignment with what god is doing when god wants to come in in the area of finances and prosperity i know that everyone will be blessed but there are people who have a personal covenant with god that represent his speakings in that regard you will never ignore their ministry and hear the current dealings of the spirit as far as that is concerned so the advancement of the kingdom is not based on personal relationship it's based on covenant god calls a man called abraham the first man in the bible who showed us that men can walk by faith with god are we together he is god's type of faith the only reason why we can tap into the possibilities of god as far as the blessing is concerned is on the strength of the covenant that god entered with one man called abraham are we together when god wanted to salvage a nation he used one man called Moses, entered a personal covenant with Moses that afforded Moses an unusual access to God beyond his personal spiritual growth because Moses himself did not make the cut to the promised land. How be it based on that covenant to an extent that although Moses may have failed spiritually in the book of Jude, an angel came to carry his body and satan still wanted the dead body because they represent systems they are not just human beings they are systems elijah was a man who represented god's system god's covenant of reformation god's covenant of of um forerunning revivals he's called elijah the tishbite are we together so by the time you allow people to begin to corrupt your mind 
and say don't make it look like only some people can hear God no the idea is not a show of superiority the idea is an election by grace where men have become like trees they are like spiritual vines and your connection to them is how you are able to tap into certain possibilities I've shared it with us here Abraham gave birth to Ishmael with Hagar is that true Hagar was crying Ishmael was crying but the Bible says God had the voice of the young lad not the voice of Hagar why because when God looked at Ishmael he saw Abraham and received and saw the covenant God more often times to say he blessed Solomon for the sake of his father David are we together when the kingdom was about to be advanced after Christ came he got 12 men entered a personal covenant with them listen let me tell you there is a difference between those apostles and us we are equal in Christ but they were men who entered a certain kind of covenant with God that represented the advancement of God's kingdom if Satan killed all those 12 apostles the kingdom could not be advanced because it was through them that it will be spread that's why God protected them angels had to come and open prisons to force them to go out are we together one man called John the beloved had a personal understanding it was his personal covenant with God that granted him access to show us the revelation the apocalypse the unfolding of prophecy there are still men like that on the earth. There are not many, but there are. In fact, the system of God's electing these men is always in twelves. There's no time to teach you on that. That God's apostolic governing system is always in twelves. So in, in regions, you will always find this number, twelve. The apostolic spiritual governing council of God. They may not even know themselves. But they represent God's order of activities. Are we together? But you see, when the devil wants to deceive you, he will bring pride and make you look like I can access the throne of God by myself. I, am, I don't need to hear anything. Even when God is giving a word of caution, most times we don't listen and we say, no, 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 no. I'm, nobody should do this and that and that. And then, you know, um, I don't even want to go into that, that teaching because it will take our whole time. As you know, I love the body of Christ. I am the last person who will fight the body of Christ. I love the body of Christ and I love the different dimensions of spiritual operation. But then I am always quick to attack imbalances especially when they get to a level where they can corrupt the authenticity of the work of believers the moment an imbalance gets so bad that it can bring you out of spiritual alignment it calls for concern are we together and one of it is of course as we know the concept of grace are we together now now when you understand the concept of grace and you isolate it with respect to other things that God is doing it becomes an error grace as a doctrine on its own is an error it only makes sense when you add it together and you piece it together with every other thing God is doing when you study the book of Ephesians the book of Ephesians theologically speaking contains the highest church truth are we together where Apostle Paul was teaching the church he was giving them certain doctrines the entire scope of a christian experience six chapters which were a communication of the entire activities of the believer so he starts theologically speaking with what we call sitting right you've heard you've read that and many of you have heard it in different messages it was that revelation came by a man called watchman nee watchman nee was the 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 apostle that God used to communicate the realities of redemption in a very balanced and authentic way to the body of Christ. And so that position of sitting, the Bible starts in the book of Ephesians, teaching us how, in fact, when it starts in chapter 1, 
it never talks about us it talks about christ and all that he has done when you start reading chapter 2 it now brings us into the scene right we are now raised up with christ so the revelation of god's grace is seen in chapter 1 and 2 and it is true that the foundation of a believer's life is predicated upon the grace of god there are certain things that we can never have ourselves like righteousness it is impossible for anybody to have righteousness by himself the bible says the best of our righteousness is as filthy rags and do not confuse righteousness and uprightness they are not the same righteousness and uprightness are not the same righteousness is a gift from god uprightness is our response the advantage our our work of faith i'm just giving us are, are you getting blessed i just want to establish a few things before we continue it's very very important so the bible starts teaching us on the grace of god and all the possibilities that come with that grace all that christ had done for us in his death his burial his resurrection and his ascension into heaven in fact it was on the strength of that that paul began to teach in chapter in verse 17 he said for this cause i have a passion for you understanding this this is the foundation of your victory in christ and for this cause i paul bow my knees to the father of our lord jesus christ that he may grant unto you right the spirit of revelation you know and understanding that your eyes been enlightened or flooded with light that you may know certain things one is the hope of your calling and then you know the power that raised christ that was exalted when christ was raised from the dead you know and, and all of that and paul begins to speak he knew that the church needs to know that but paul did not just walk there he didn't stop there he began to talk about what is called theologically our walk of faith right character now you taking advantage of the grace of god i told you there's there are two dimensions to the grace of god there is the grace of god as unmerited access and there is the grace of god as power to live like christ they are all called grace don't just confuse them grace does not just mean what god has done and we receive by faith there is a dimension of grace that represents everything christ has done that we could not do and he gave it to us we receive it by faith but there is a dimension of grace that empowers us to do we will do but it's not by our strength are we together and then he wraps up the book of ephesians with what is called the the you know uh, standing and then our, our, our walk and then you know sitting and standing then it talks of spiritual warfare our ability to contend against powers and principalities and listen every doctrine that must build a believer please hear me every doctrine that must build a believer must sustain all these components whenever there is a deviation from this pattern it will lead to error if you try to teach people how to do warfare how to do character and you forget the grace of god you will lead them into error and legalism are we together when you try to bring isolate the doctrine of holiness without giving men the foundation of faith you will lead to self-righteousness which does not hold any weight in the spirit and so it must be in that order the first thing believers must understand about god is not warfare is the grace of god and that's encapsulated in what we call the gospel of salvation a revelation of the substitutionary work of uh, uh, jesus christ which is a reflection of the love of the father so when we see that grace then our walking right now by faith is our own participation that's called the gospel of the kingdom our reward in gratitude and honor for that sacrifice for us and then our standing it says haven't done all to stand stand Now, let me tell you something. The part of this truth you ignore is the part the devil will use to destroy your life. You can't choose sitting as it were. Grace. You can't choose kingdom just like that and isolate it. You can't choose deliverance just like that. There's a series on it and you can get it after the service. It's called the full gospel. Where all these doctrines were examined one by one. 
their imperfections their imbalances to the end that the bride of christ will become perfect he said come and i will show you the lamb's wife he said and he showed me a city equal in length equal in breadth equal in height and part of the possibilities in the kingdom is the foundation of the apostles and the prophets christ himself being the chief cornerstone god stations these men so that they can communicate the speakings of the spirit and it is that same order of god's system that was mimicked by the antichrist system when you read the book of revelations from uh, uh, chapter 13 and the rest the bible tells us that satan empowered the beast the beast will now empower the false prophets the same order the same way god empowers his apostles and prophets to communicate certain things satan empowers the beast who empowers the false prophets and then they continue carrying out their agenda so there is a system spiritual growth is not haphazard you don't choose how you want it's not even just how your pastor said so there is an irrefutable pattern that has not changed it did not change just because um god jesus christ came and died for us no it's an eternal pattern it was carved out of who god is not what he's doing are we together there are people who believe in miracles but they do not believe in the prophetic and the apostolic that lapse is satan's authorization in their life there are people who do not believe in the gift of the spirit but they are well-meaning people that lapse is satan's you know advantage in their life there are people for instance who believe in grace but they may not believe in holiness and righteousness and all of that and satan takes advantage of it there are people who believe in deliverance but may not believe in the grace of god and satan takes advantage and they are forever fighting every and anything the key is not exemption the key is balance everybody say balance say it again balance the key is balance because all of these things are components of the same system hallelujah and so i want you to believe the prophetic is real it is still functional it did not die with the new testament the prophetic is real now i know that here and there people may have exaggerated certain dimensions of it but it's not enough reason for us to throw the baby and the bad water lives can be rescued when we understand what god is saying and the bible says he that hears he that has an ear let him hear what the spirit saith to the churches so if he's talking to one person he's talking to the ecclesia the church hallelujah pray one minute and say lord i hear what you are saying i'm not rebellious i hear what you are saying you are speaking to the church i am part of the church and i hear what you are saying i hear what you are saying i'm not a rebel i hear what you are saying i hear what you are saying go ahead and pray strategies right now that God revealed to me and then we'll take some time and really pray I want us to seriously pray tonight and God will grant us that grace are we together if you fight economic empowerment get set to struggle spiritually promise made a statement when he came to receive the offering and he said having abundance of supplies will increase your prayer life and minimize your prayer points how true 
You see, let me tell you something. This system that we live in, Cosmos, is a system that was designed intelligently. Are we together? God made the heavens and the earth, but the system, the social strata, and its civilization was nicely modeled and built by Lucifer, the custodian of the Antichrist system. And he built it such that our civilization will only thrive on economic empowerment. Please listen. Are we together now? And part of the imbalance that we're talking about is what has produced believers who are prayerful, loving, but we have not paid attention to our finances. And in this season, our flaw is becoming obvious. Are we together? Many anointed churches are seen right now that they cannot buy generator for their prayer meetings. Many churches that will have to depend on rent or something. The man, the landlord may be an unbeliever and he may get up under the influence of a strange spirit and say no more use of this venue. It is locked and what happens? The sheep is scattered. It's a strategy by the pit of hell because the Bible says the borrower is and will always be slave to the lender. So our concept of empowerment must be seen not just as a desire to be rich and to be money mongers. Please get this. If that is your thinking, you are already in error. The concept of empowerment is to rise to a level where we overcome the influence of mammon. That spirit that is, is compelling the nations to worship her. There is a spirit. It's called mammon. If you have not seen that spirit, just look around our government and you will know that that spirit is being worshipped. The obsession for the worship of images and the worship of Lucifer did not start in our generation. Right? Remember when the king built 90 solid feet, go and said at the sound of music, everybody will bow down and worship. And your survival in that territory depended on your willingness to bow. Some gentlemen said, oh king, no. They found another system of exemption and they changed the tide. Businesses are bowing already. Churches are bowing already. Systems are coming to their knees. I've heard men of God who didn't used to talk about certain things and have been surprised hearing the way they are beginning to be so obsessed about financial principles that are not consistent with the ways of the Lord and the reason is because for every leader what faith is to the realm of the spirit that's what finance is to this realm you must pay the school fees of your child are we together and that reality is beginning to punish a lot of people to the detriment of their spiritual life but everybody say there is a way out shout he said there is a way out The way out of financial hardship in this season goes beyond investments, goes beyond business. Let me tell you what the Holy Ghost told me. You see, if you do investments, you need money to make money. Is that true? You need money to make money. If you do business, you are selling products, you are selling services and that's all right. But the problem is that the products you are selling have a fixed price and cannot be manipulated ordinarily. Are we together? Meaning there is a limit to what can come into your hand. There is a limit to patronage and all of that. But the key, I've said it again and again, is when you become the product yourself. Not just that you offer services, you become the service. When you become valuable, not just have things that are valuable, but you yourself as a person, you rise to a point where you become an epitome of value. You have entered your financial Sabbath, I guarantee you. The most expensive commodity for instance on earth is the anointing. And when you have the anointing, we used to jokingly say it sometimes with Jimmy, how that we watch people who we know do not know one, maybe one twentieth 
of the business principles we should know but because they possess the most expensive commodity on earth which is the anointing and its ability to provide supernatural solutions they exempt themselves from the tide and the grip of mammon so god's call for us in this season as believers to exempt us from the economic turmoil that is whipping the nations and that will inevitably come and lash a lot of people in nigeria it's not only to surround ourselves with valuable things valuable things are important but be the value yourself and we have that advantage because the holy ghost is here to help us that's why i said your greatest business strategy in this season is to labor in the spirit and carry something authentic and supernatural you will enter the sabbath of your life do you believe what i'm saying please believe it i can sell palm oil is it not when you need palm oil that you buy it are we together i have palm oil in industrial scale but until there is a demand but you see let me tell you something the rev the world revolves around certain things that will never um, run out of demand one of it is the anointing one of it is the realities that come from the life of a man in partnership with the holy spirit such that even in your business you are offering much more than the product first and foremost you have risen to a point where you have become so valuable then any other valuable thing around you only becomes a support not the basis for your confidence do you understand what i'm saying as harsh as the economic climate is there are people moving as if it doesn't exist in nigeria please don't ever deceive yourself that everybody is crying let me tell you why we all look like we are crying because people have found out that if you don't cry with others the the anger and the pain they will fight you back so they just cry and say kai honestly god is, is faithful but the truth is not everybody is crying there are people who are far from crying they have found the key every one naira that seems to disappear did not go out of earth is somewhere it's in the hands of those who have paid the price to become valuable i made up my mind that as god grants grace i will pay the price to be so valuable because by god's grace my life and this ministry should not come to a point where we are stranded and the purposes of the kingdom becomes jeopardized simply because of a, a god called mammon look at me do you know that there are many of our families we have tried to bring them maybe for the meetings and they may not want to listen but how many of you know that if we buy something tomorrow and we say everybody should come and line up vim omo sewing machine bikes you will see people who swore that they will never come here you see them standing even if they will not use it they will get it and go and sell it and quickly use the money that's the reality of economic hardship and from the vision the lord showed me listen people will do things that you will not imagine do you know in the bible women ate their children the bible said can a mother forget her child this one a mother remembered as he ate the child that's what finances can do you talk about prostitution is child's play when poverty hits people they will make calls that they did not made for years you see if you do not empower your people don't blame them for perversion and i found out that you do not judge spiritual seriousness just from the face you can see someone praying but knows that there are seven people whose daily bread are dependent upon them they will go and sleep with any allergy anywhere and bring the money they will even bring it and so project 10,000. Are we together? Say in the name of Jesus. I exempt myself from this economic hardship. Say it in the name of Jesus. I exempt myself from this economic hardship. The Bible says when men say there is a casting down. 
for you he says you will say there is a lifting up there is a lifting up there is a lifting up but if you don't believe this sooner or later you will have to face the bitter reality of this prophetic word because it will happen I want to be honest with you I'm not one person who just prophesies everything I see but I, I, I salute the government of this nation I know that they are doing their best with what they know and whatever covenant they are part of but I, I want to tell you one truth here I don't see transformation happening very soon let me tell you the truth all that I've, and, and I, I, I don't mean to insult anybody but a lot of people have given so many prophecies you are going to see boom not 2016 it will happen for those who have the strategies but as far as the world is speaking you have not seen tears wait till july finishes I've, i'm telling you what i've seen you will see people sit down and cry like children i'm not talking of illiterates you will sit down and gather your degree and shed tears on it but for those who are hearing this thing and will pay the price to become valuable i tell you you will rise as if the devil does not exist It has nothing to do with age. It has nothing to do with level of education. Hear me. It has nothing to do with gender. It has everything to do with having perceptions. And receiving God's strategy for now. Don't sit down and confuse yourself. Saying this and that. I'm an astute businessman. Just keep quiet and let the Lord speak to you. I'm not daft. I understand business. If you hear me speak to you like this. It is what the Lord is saying per season. Let me tell you, what will give you bread is what God is saying, not what you know. What God is saying, the direction of God is the direction of favor. The direction of God is the direction of life. God speaking to us you must challenge yourself to be valuable in this season the devil is a liar Kai the devil is a liar there is a spirit in Asia called Quatsi Quata that's what the Bible calls mammon it's a spirit many of you have seen it is the image of a flying serpent a flying dragon that is the exact picture of mammon it's a spirit that will compel the nations to bow to its leadership i assure you many people will bow the concept of 666 is not just something you receive on your hand and receive on your forehead it's already happening when a system compels you receiving the mark is not just having a physical inscription it's coming under the sovereign rule of that system so that you have no options you have received the mark Are we together? But God is going to grant us grace. We will come out in another dimension. No, 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 no. Listen, let me tell you. I don't know about you. But Koinonia will not bow to this system. There is a superior covenant. We have the rod of a higher priesthood. No devil, no spirit, no system. Will make us change our message. To tone down the apostolic work God has given. So that we can attract certain kinds of wealthy individuals. That's what is happening to pastors right now. There are certain messages you cannot preach. If it is not rich man friendly. Get set to sweep your church by yourself. So you have to tone down certain things. There are certain mainstream TV programs right now. Where you are not permitted to teach certain topics. It used to be that you can't mention the name of Jesus. But now they've taken it to another level. Certain topics should not be taught on mainstream. If you teach about pressure, how to manage it, how love, how people can, can come together, a gospel of universalism, marry anything, anyhow, anywhere, doesn't matter. You are, you are welcome. The mainstream invites you. But the moment you have an outspoken voice, the system will strangle you. And economic empowerment lack of it is satan's weapon of mass destruction it's worse than backsliding are we together pray in one minute and say i must be exempted in this season please pray 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 Oh 
Are you praying? Oh, every time the devil tried to bring his arsenal and fight the church, God is always one strategy ahead. One strategy ahead. One strategy ahead. One strategy ahead. Keep praying. Raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. Lord, we will raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in honor of you. Sunanka, who bangi jika is Ayabo, Nagil Mamma, Sunanka, who bangi jika is Ayabo, Nagil Mamma, Sunanka, who bangi Raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in all of you. Lord, we will raise your banner high. We shine your light so bright. We sing in all of you. The grace to be valuable that when men say there is a casting down the bible says your gates shall be continually open it will not be short day or night right that you will receive the forces of the gentiles that's what the bible says you can be valuable and exempt yourself from the economic whiplash hear me I'm not talking of business. I'm not talking of investments. I'm talking of being so valuable. Carrying something that cannot be found in the earth realm. Carrying something that is not of an earthly origin. Hallelujah. Please sit down. Sit down. I told you there will be lots of impartations we pray. My passion is that something will come upon your life. Listen, let me tell you something. Brothers and sisters, when this glory of God comes on a man, it will change you. You will veto laws and walk as if Satan does not exist. Never trivialize the anointing. It's a big deal. I'm not talking of being anointed where you are competing with people and fighting. No. God raises you by his grace and puts you in a pedestal. No mammon. No devil. No policy affects you. It's a realm. It's a dimension. We frown at the supernatural. Because we think we're in an intellectual realm. Many times when pastors speak, a lot of business people just say, these guys are daft, they don't know what they're saying. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. The voice of God. The Bible says, the Lord is my shepherd. That is why I will not want. The Lord is my shepherd. A shepherd guides. He knows where the green grasses are. He says, he leads me. He leads me. And thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying, this is the way. Walk ye in it. Isaiah 48 verse 17. Right? 
I am the Lord that teaches thy hands to profit. Some of you, this is what you will need. You will step into a place and men will look for you. Who said where you are staying is too far? You have not carried something. When you carry something, listen, let me tell you when you know you are anointed. When no price is too much to meet you, you are really anointed. When no price is too much to meet you. Have you watched people during foil scarcity? They have their money but they still kill and they are not angry. That's how valuable foil is. When you get to a point where people don't mind trekking from anywhere to say, I have learned that the wisdom of God is upon your mouth and we have come as a nation. That's where Joshua Selman is going to. Listen, Koinonia is not an exclusive reserve of preachers. Power was never for preachers. Power is for them who will survive in this season because there are gates that you must stand against and it takes the anointing it takes unction not stories not preaching unction listen churches are closing because there's no results we argue and say it doesn't matter but they are closing the devil is closing them the devil is closing them people are coming in with devilish policies against the church you know why they have not seen our relevance by the time a city cannot do without the church no devil will close it no devil will close it listen so the key is not just making noise the key is rising to that point please hear me when you become valuable listen listen if I give you 500,000 to go and invest, you can make money. If I give you a product to sell, if this is 100 Naira, everybody you sell to, you will sell at 100 Naira. So you move at their pace. But when you become valuable, your reward is left to the perception of your benefactors. One person can see you and give you 100,000 because that's what he perceives. The next person can give you 10 million because that's what he perceives is the key to accelerating ourselves to enter that wealthy place let me tell you some levels of businesses are too slow to supply the funds required for kingdom advancement it takes being valuable the queen of sheba there was no word on solomon she carried her treasure to solomon there are shebas there are cyruses that must arise with their treasure and I'm praying prophetically that someone tonight an unction an unction an unction from the throne an unction from the throne will come upon someone that will change your life where your voice becomes like the voice of God Listen, let me tell you this there will be no longer begging in the church all that depending on the world system no the key is not to sit down waiting for someone to employ you as good as that is the key has been given to us the Holy Ghost handing you the keys that can open any door and you will watch mammon mammon will watch you and not be able to do anything listen I saw this in the vision that the Lord showed me 
many people will be constrained their, their life is to be as if they should die because the doors are closed let me quickly talk about the two points we're rounding up there is a key that will conquer exhaustion in this season please write it down there are many weary people and it's natural to be weary but let me tell you the key please hear me i want you to write it it's a very simple key spend time praying in the spirit spend time i didn't say pray in the spirit at will carelessly when you want spend time praying in the spirit i want you to fan your prayer life in a dimension that will be too hot for any devil bishop oyedeko said no matter how mad a man is no matter how mad a man is he will not enter fire in the name of madness are we together you want to survive the tides brothers and sisters let me tell you your prayer altar must be like the seven times hotter fire that they threw the hebrew boys the bible says those who threw them themselves were burnt to death are we together you lie down on your bed you turn a little where your prayer creates an effect you enter your house as you are shouting in tongues something is happening you are shaking gates prayer read your bible has always been the key to true apostolic and prophetic revival when you pray let me tell you no matter how dead your spiritual life is when you invest in prayer you will burn that devil to nonsense he must give you more. i don't mean prayer that you are just asking and begging and crying that's why i said pray in the spirit because for many of us our prayer in understanding is petition and languishing and pain and anger but you lock yourself and you pray i'm not just saying when you are in your prayer room you are moving on the road you are praying beneath your voice somebody drops a charm at you it backfires on him by night he has become mad are we together someone is carrying a talisman and you are sitting down and you are going to Sabo. he will drop at main gates because the fire is too hot he makes listen he makes his ministers wind spirits right his angel spirit and his ministers flames i've said it again i pity the herbalist that will make concoction and call my name as is it's not only that it will not work if it didn't work he has still insulted me he will fry to death physically physically i'm not i'm not motivating you you think they've not tried it how can you be leading a ministry like this and not tried it only god knows till we get to heaven before we know how many poisons we have eaten let me tell you something when your prayer life is alive and healthy anytime you are walking just imagine in your head fire literal fire are we together john wesley said set yourself on fire and the whole world will come to watch you burn set yourself on fire stop discussing things with people who cannot help you go and lock yourself your body says i'm tired you say you are joking as you begin to pray you will first feel weak for a few minutes keep praying it's normal just keep praying when you touch that escape velocity you will touch a realm where strength you cannot explain will land upon you you plan to pray for one hour you will stretch five hours believe me i know what i'm saying nobody starts praying just out of comfort it's like you are starting you are tired you are moving you are tired keep praying don't say ah this and that the devil will tell ah, there's something in the fridge Have you, don't just keep praying Oh, apostle, but I'm praying and thinking about women. Keep praying. That's what he's supposed to solve. 
there is a level to which the fire will be too hot your flesh must burn and allow your spirit accept listen when the holy ghost is called fire it's not just what we do in church fire fire no he's real fire fire is a mystery those who will pray in this season will record unbelievable breakthroughs believe me travail you pray in the spirit thank god we have a very robust prayer department you come there and stretch it out with destiny after two hours your antenna is to the heavens any demon is flying above you they hang there they hang there because you are passing you are not even praying the fire will roast every devil around anywhere that's what we are talking about listen many of us are too cold that's why the devil will come and sit on your destiny and it will look like nothing is happening there are cold churches a spirit will arise from somewhere and just come and sit upon the man of God and his wife and his family but for koinonia no way shout no way fire when there is fire burning somebody will come with migraine as he's crossing that 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 junction to enter koinonia the migraine will just leave that's fire speaking that's fire speaking it works but if you walk it it's not a gift it's a labor in the spirit this is the labor dimension of spiritual growth men will pay you let me tell you your 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 job is to just become genuinely anointed by the power of god and you watch what god will do in your life it's what a jimmy calls transformational wealth that dimension of wealth that is tied to people rewarding you because the last time they shook your hand every gate opened every every gate open just by shaking you do you think they want to be your friend absolutely absolutely praying in the spirit becoming valuable praying in the spirit becoming valuable the third key in this season is the power of corporate fellowship the power of corporate fellowship if the devil can successfully isolate you in this season just know that you are quarter to die are we together there is a difference between isolation and solitude once the devil wants to destroy you let me tell you what he will do look up please he will use offense huh? and push away everybody every intercessor in your life you will fight with him everybody who has grace and love for you you will fight with him he will push every relevant person push you to the wall alone and then that's where you sit down there and become a victim of his assaults a corporate life is a powerful key in the realm of the spirit the power of a corporate life that you come together and where i am almost giving up as you land with your fire based on unity of faith and the spirit of brotherhood before my fire jacks up your fire is roasting every devil that i came with are we together corporate fellowship how good and pleasant it is when brethren dwell together in unity it is like the oil that flows from the head of aaron that priest down to his bed down to his cat he said for there the lord has commanded the blessing corporate life I'm a man of God of myself. You will pay for it in this season. You need corporate grace. Corporate grace. Corporate grace. Because no matter what you have seen, you will need that. Sometimes that corporate grace will help you confirm if the path you are walking is of God. The devil can isolate you and you just keep moving and you are flattering yourself until you land in fire. Are we together? But Koinonia, we are going to pray. I don't know about you, but for as long as you are genuinely connected to this ministry, you must be exempted from this nonsense that is ravaging nations. It's like an angel of death is, have, is entering families. Bam! Sickness. Incurable diseases. Have you heard recently how people are dying just from headache? They say somebody has headache before they rush him to the hospital. He's dead. How come on? 
a woman is pregnant just when labor starts she becomes deaf and dumb then she dies we are going to drive that devil out of zaria are you ready to pray no we are going to pray there is a church in zaria and we will pray we will pray and drive it far and say we surround this city with a mystery that makes any enchantment not to be able to thrive we represent god's seat of of governance in this city and we must pray there's no room for carelessness we must pray lift your voice and pray in tongues for a while make sure you participate everybody don't be tired we are praying young and old everyone pray are you praying hallelujah Anointing for Anointing for Let the power of the Holy Ghost Anointing like you to sing it as a prayer from the depth of your heart family members are depending on us not our preaching the activity of the power of God upon our lives there are people standing here let me tell you listen this thing that I saw there are families I know I saw it happening to in that vision and I like you to pray you are not desiring the anointing out of covetousness you need it there are there are thrones and dominions that must be subdued an apostle Joshua Selma may not be there. The goal is not to have one superstar. The goal is that you carry fire and go to your regions and begin to speak the purposes of God. And while you are doing that, God will compel men to lift you. It has nothing to do with ministry. Please, I'd like you to pray and say, Father, let a strange unction fall upon my life. Oh, let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. Let the earthly become heavenly. In this season, they that will survive must be men of power authentic unction unction beyond imagination unction beyond argument unction beyond argument unction beyond argument ta 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 ba ta ka para ka ta lord send that fire upon my life send that fire 
upon my gifts send that fire upon my degree send that fire upon my phd send that fire upon my business send that fire upon my company send that fire upon my church send that fire upon my family Oh yes, send that fire upon my life. Send that unction upon my life. The earnest expectation of creation awaits my manifestation. Thou shall arise and have mercy upon Zion for the time to favor her. Yea, the set time. 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 Hallelujah. Listen, listen. One encounter with the anointing can give you an open door that your lifetime will not exhaust it if you believe what I'm telling you. One encounter, one, one encounter can open a financial door for you that will wipe your tears. One encounter can make you a friend to somebody who will pay your being a friend with him forever one encounter listen listen hallelujah i'd like you to pray a prayer you've heard us pray it here but i want you to pray it with all your heart everyone appointed to reward my grace i compel them to appear go ahead and pray it's not enough to have an anointing there are men who can reward your grace. There are institutions. Send them, oh God, to Koinonia. Send them to your people. Men and women. Who need what you carry? Your entrepreneurial anointing. Your leadership anointing. Your spirit of motherhood. Send them to my life, oh God. Men and women who have what it takes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. Look up. Look up. I know very anointed men and women. They love God passionately, but they have never met the people assigned to bless them. You don't preach for money. You don't carry the anointing just for money. But you see, God designed it in such a way that as you dispense the realities of the kingdom, there is a feedback system that should empower you so you continue being effective. Are we together? Listen. The day you stand in the presence, you see, many of us are around people who love our gifts, but do not have the grace to reward it. Are we together? You can labor and pray and fast and go and preach somewhere and someone will pat your back and say, wow, you are an awesome man of God. I've never seen a man of God in this state like you. That's not enough reward. But there is a way you can have an encounter and someone will come and bring a generator, buy you a car, and say, what does it take to stop you from thinking about the finances? If you are such a voice, I should sponsor you rising to any level. There are men like that. There are some of us, the value you have now, let me tell you sincerely, the value you have now, you, is, is enough for you to be blessed forever. 
but you have not encountered those who have what it takes listen there are pastors hear me who until you preach somewhere where your helpers are that's what will expand your church all of a sudden it will be like they are hearing you for the first time yes i know there are millions of men of god in nigeria but there are others assigned to honor you 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 can be singing singing songs laboring and traveling from pillar to post but if you can discern god can send you to somebody who has the means but needs your music when it was time for the lifting of david a spirit was upon saul and saul needed a musician to drive it all of a sudden they went and fished out david how many times did david play for saul when he played just once Saul loved him there are circles that I have entered and I ministered once and God connected me to people who will bless me forever and that day it wasn't even as if I was saying anything it was just that God connected me to people who will be blessed tomorrow we are in Asaba a mighty meeting happening in the stadium and we are going to minister they started preparing for this meeting tomorrow one year one year they came to book one year in advance they have been praying logistics publicity all over the city and we are going to go and storm the gates of hell there is some you are not assigned everywhere look you need to pray that those assigned to honor what you carry otherwise you'll be frustrated trying to be everything to anybody lift your voice one more time and say direct them oh god direct them direct them to me oh in this season direct my blessers direct those you have sent to be blessed by my ministry direct those who have been sent to be blessed by my business shabakata posh on the process seeker ruta sabarikata direct them you are a prophet but not to everyone that god will bring the ears of those who have been anointed to hear your voice you are an apostle not to everyone that God will direct the people the institutions hallelujah we're going to be praying that in this season please hear me that in this season god will grant you grace to have passion for the house of god that you will not allow the devil corner you somewhere and destroy you and destroy your family he said as for me and my house i don't know about you but as for me i have made up but the bible says they that be planted no flimsy excuses Oh, we are tired today. They that be planted in the house of God, they will flourish in the courts of our God. I'd like you to pray passionately and say, Lord, grace and passion for your house. Grace and passion. Grace and passion for your house. Supernatural grace. Supernatural passion for your house. For your house. For your house. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are rounding up. One category of people who will be exempted from any nonsense in this season are passionate and addicted soul winners. Listen, listen. There was a time they needed money to pay for tax it was a period that they needed money desperately they had come to collect tax and jesus said go and catch fish and fish in the bible is symbolic of souls when they caught those souls in that mission work they found money 
as they were preaching God provided a way as they were preaching fishers of men they went to fish and they said open the mouth of that fish as that fish testifies the greatness of God and confesses with his mouth the lordship of Christ you engage a law automatically that brings you wealth hear me please believe what I'm saying there are many people here who love God we are prayer warriors but we are not so winners you stand up alone and drag yourself to koinonia you wave your roommates you wave your family members you come here and get blessed while you are getting blessed the devil is using them to destroy your blessing you go back home a soul winner is an intercessor lord you must change my family members there are people who can come on friday and say look i'm going around this place have you heard about koinonia you've never really come you see this this our shame big boy big girl there are no big boys and big girls in the kingdom it takes passion when you are doggedly involved in soul winning you schedule seasons of exemption i can tell you this i can tell you this are we together you are in your office you are there and you leave every other person someone tells you uh -uh, um the devil is trying to manipulate my life. Oga Jordan did something today that blessed me so, so much. Some people came to his shop to buy books. And the way they began to talk, at once he knew it was a demonic situation. God has given you spiritual intelligence. There is a way you hear people talk. What they are saying in the realm of the spirit is, I need help. You just listen to them and say bye-bye. The moment they began to talk, you know, Oga Jordan said this and that. They wanted to see me and he said, oh, it may not be easy to see me. But he bought communion and took a bike and came and said, I should pray on the communion. And returned it back and gave the people. And I was looking at him. I said, why won't he explode? Let me tell you, if God, if your life becomes an epitome of support for God's interest, forget about begging. This is the God I serve. You may not know all you need to know. But that your life can find space to bring God. This is how this ministry started. Every night, somebody was dragging somebody. Come and get filled with the Holy Ghost. Come and get born again. You may not have the power to change them. But you have what it takes to invite them. Some of you, 50 naira is what you need to draw a soul. Ah, Koinonia has a crowd. It's not about competition of crowd. It's about destinies that must change. Are we together? What's wrong with calling your loved ones and say there is there is a platform now to hear this online? Since you think you are too sick to come, connect to the miracle service. You see, let me tell you something. This is what we do that produces some of the results. Anybody that is too big to win souls is too big to experience the favor of God. If you are too big to win souls, too big to win souls. Ah, I preached and they insulted me. So what? Didn't Jesus say it? Blessed are you when men persecute and revile you. Rejoice! For so they did the prophets and the rest. You have social media platforms that you can use as platforms to draw people to the house of God where they can be blessed. You see, until you see yourself as part of what God is doing, you are not entitled to his blessings. When you see yourself as somebody who just comes for koinonia, leave the workers and the ministers. When you exempt yourself, you also exempt yourself from that covenant of blessing. He said, if you are the children of Abraham, you will do the works of Abraham. I'd like you to pray before I speak over our lives. Lord, grace to be intentional about saving people from the kingdom of darkness to the kingdom of light open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray open your mouth and pray grace to be a conduit for someone to be filled with the holy ghost grace to be a channel for someone to receive the teachings that will change their life
Cheka para to ko so pretekea. Tenka praska la presike te pretigere balada balarba. Lord, it is within your power to wipe my tears. Help them, please. Help those under the anointing there. It is within your power to help me. You move mountains. You cause walls to fall. And with your power, you perform me. There is nothing that's impossible than the standing here only because you made you made a way when our backs were on the wall and it looked as if it was all We're standing here only because you made you move mountains you cause walls to fall with your power you perform miracles you perform miracles and there is nothing that's impossible and we stand What is that mountain that has stood before you people of God please hear me if God cannot crumble that mountain then I think he does not deserve to be God but you see the thing is he will not crumble the mountain by default you've got to press with your heart opened genuinely and say Lord please step into my life and do a miracle do a miracle he only responds to the heart that cries. He only responds to the heart that pants after him. You've written several requests and you've prayed. But I want you to cry to the God of heaven and say, Father, give me a visitation. Lift your voice and pray. and get glory out of it lift your voice and pray give me a miracle and let the miracle be an opportunity for you to get glory out of my life
let my healing tonight be an opportunity for your name to be lifted let my deliverance tonight be an opportunity for you to be lifted way maker open a door for me for the sake of your glory and the struggles in my life here is an opportunity for you to be glorified Are you praying inside, outside? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen, listen. You can vow your way into a miracle. By saying, Lord, I vow that if you give me a miracle, I will not be silent with it. Let me tell you, these are the kinds of prayers that God wants. Not a testimony that you brag around and make noise for yourself. You can vow your way into breakthrough and say, Lord, change my story and I must stand before your people to testify. Lift your voice and pray. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Wipe my tears and take the glory. Let them that have mocked your grace upon my life be put to shame through this testimony. Awesome God, how great Thou art! You alone, mighty are Your miracles. Stand in all of Your holiness, Lord. We You alone, you alone. Mighty are your miracles. Mighty are your miracles. Send it all of your holy Lord, I bow. Lord, we bow and worship. Hallelujah. Before we begin to minister, please bring out your prayer request and hold it. We are going to pray for five minutes. If you have not written one, you can write one. Bring out your prayer request. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. We are going to pray. Let me tell you something. We have seen dramatic breakthroughs. It's a revelation that God gave. We are not just writing requests for nothing. People's destinies have changed. God has wiped the tears of families and individuals.
Hallelujah. I'd like you to hold your prayer request and in one minute cry and say, Lord, everything, everything written must be turned to a testimony. Not some. Lord, I thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Kaparatokata. Thank you. It's not too late to write. Those following online, make sure you have your requests. He said, make your request known. Make your request known. Don't assume it is known. Make your request known. Lord, everything, 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 one by one, one by one, by the power that raised Christ from the dead, one by one, by the unction, the anointing that is in this house tonight. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please keep it down. And lift your voice and everything you do not want to see in your life. Begin to release it to leave you right now. Before we pray, everything, everything, everything you are tired of seeing in your life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Expect to be healed. Expect to be delivered. Let me tell you something. Deliverance is very powerful when it is done scripturally and is done biblically because it's a separation between men and the forces that cause their problems. There are forces that are responsible for the problems, the challenges in people's lives. There are, there are forces. There are forces. And in a few minutes from now, we are going to begin to pray. I tell you, fire will burn in this place. Fire will burn in this place. And no devil will be able to stand. There are people whose lives must change. That's why we came. That's why we came. That's why we came. That's why we came. One more prayer point and I'll begin to minister. Every spirit responsible for my pain, you are under arrest tonight. Lift your voice and pray. Every spirit. Every spirit responsible for my failures responsible for the limitation in my life hallelujah Please lift your hands, everybody. Don't say anything. Just lift your hands. Please, everybody, if you can. If you, if you are doing something that doesn't allow you, that's all right. But please lift your hand. Don't allow the devil cheat you in this time, please. Don't allow the devil cheat you. When you hear me ministry, minister like this, is because I'm under the anointing of the Spirit. These are not things I'm doing of my own accord. It is the foolishness of spiritual things that produce results. Keep your hands lifted. Keep your hands lifted. The first set of people that God will step into right now are people that God is breaking. I'm seeing 
I'm seeing God break delay. I'm seeing chains on people's legs. And the Lord said, just lift your hands and he will locate them by himself. So keep your hands up. Father, I have done what you have told me to do. Right now, inside and outside. Right now. Right now, inside and outside. I stretch my hands. Bring them out. Right now. Everyone whose feet has been chained. Kaparataka. I unloose those chains now. I untie those chains now. I untie those chains right now. Bring them out. The second overflow. God is touching a lady so dramatically. Delay, 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 delay. You can't stand the anointing tonight. You can't stand the anointing tonight. Oh, there is grace in this house to challenge every altar of delay that has tied down the lives and the destinies of people. You must go forward. You must go forward. You must go forward. You must go forward. It's time to move forward. It's time to move forward. Keep your hands lifted. I'm seeing altars on fire and the Lord said it belongs to families Lord where are the families right now right now let the fire of God locate them right now where are these families I stand by this anointing and I command everywhere across this building every family under the siege of witchcraft every family under the siege of witchcraft fire comes upon that altar fire comes upon that altar God is saving people right now the power of the Holy Ghost is at work in this place. You can't be the same. You can't be the same. Hallelujah. Keep your hands down. God is doing a quick work. Only ladies, lift your hands. Only ladies, lift your hands. Please lift your hands. Ladies represent gates in the spirit. And there are destinies whose gates have been closed. Right now I'm about to speak. In the name of Jesus. Upon every lady here. Upon every lady here. Who the gate has been closed. I command right now be open be open be open many of you will be surprised what will happen to you right now sisters you represent gates 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 young and old young and old may those gates be open now may those gates be open now may those gates be open now May those gates be open now. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Lift your hands. The Lord is showing me something very 
I prayed about this in one miracle service. There are people here whose destinies have been exchanged for others. I pray right now, wherever they are, at least 40 people, 40 people, wherever they are right now, I command a reversal. I command a reversal. Fire, fire, fire falls upon people. Fire every destiny that has been exchanged in the realm of the spirit every destiny that has been exchanged in the name of jesus every load you are carrying that is not yours in the name of jesus it returns back to the sender every high thing must come down Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You overcome. You overcome. Hallelujah. I tell you miracles are happening here mighty mighty miracles mighty miracles mighty miracles all those out here all the spirits tying down your destinies at the count of three this is miracle service they live now. I speak in the realm of the spirit. One, two, go, go, go. Out of them. Out of them. Go forever. Release their destinies. Chains be broken. Release their destinies. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something. No spirit will hide today. The power of God is strong in this place to bring strange visitations. Lift your hands, everyone. There are men. It's not just that you are delayed. You are not even moving at all. I want to pray. And the prayer I'm praying now is an unction that will begin to move people forward. An unction that will begin to move people forward. But first, the strong man that has kept families down must be dislodged. Lift your hands. I pray right now. Whoever is under the influence of any spirit and any power that is causing any retrogression and non-progress, right now as I pray, fire comes upon them. In the name of Jesus, inside and outside, take the fire now. Take the fire now. Take the fire now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing someone they brought here. I don't know if the person has a mental problem or is mad. Is there someone like that? There's someone they brought like a mental problem. Mad? A mad person. Where is the person? Bring the person. It's time for a miracle. This is a mad person. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You will overcome. You will overcome. Every high thing must come down. Every stronghold shall be broken. You wear the victor's crown. You will overcome. You will overcome. Hallelujah. 
I'm seeing a man that they brought here. It's like he has a problem walking very well. Is there someone like that? It's like he has a problem walking very well. A man, I don't know if there's pains or is that he cannot walk completely. Is there such a person, please? We have to hurry up. I want us to finish in good time. Is there such a person? Hold on. Let me just, is there such a person? Outside, he can't walk. He can't walk. He's paralyzed. Huh? What? Who brought him? Come, come quickly, please. What's the situation? What's the situation? Recent, sir. Please, as loud as you can. Joseph recent, last week I visited him then at Kano with his wife. And they informed us in the village that he's paralyzed. This man is a policeman. Is he a policeman? No, we forget I'm seeing... his cardigan for, from Kano. So we okay. the, he's a custom I'm seeing him there. where... Okay. He's a custom officer What's wrong with him now? Presently now can he, he hear me? He can hear you, sir. He can Oga, and he look to... at me. Can you hear me? No, no, hold on. Can you hear me? Where are you from? Yeah, from Kano, sir. Kano, you yes. came from Kano? Yes, sir. Look at me, sir. In the name of Jesus Christ, look at me. Since when could he not walk? Wife, come, please. This was husband for how long? This is almost a month now. But the leg is just two weeks now. The legs is two weeks. Yes. It's okay. I'm seeing stroke. In the name of Jesus Christ. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Can you hear me? Can you hear me? The first miracle is for him to hear what I'm saying. Something has affected his mind. He cannot even hear. Huh? He can't even talk. He can't hear. He can't talk. In the name of Jesus Christ. I command that deaf and dumb spirit to leave you. To leave you. Sir, look at me. Look at me. Can you hear how, sir? Huh? Look at me. Can you look at me? Try to move your legs. Can you? Can you try to move your legs? Can you try to do what I'm doing? Try to move your legs. Talk to him that I want to pray for him. Who is this? That's so that is. Why are they here? Hold on, please. Uh, 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 uh. Let please only the case I call. Don't just we are going to pray for people. What's wrong? What's wrong? This lady is mad. Yes. Since he, when? Yes. Who knows you, madam? Are, are you in Zaria here? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Okay. Her case is mental. Now I started the the for hospital. Now get. Thing they, they do. It's like epilepsy. It is like epilepsy, so it affected her brain. You can imagine. Hold my hands. Father, I command that spirit to leave. Mad spirit, go now. You will let this girl go in the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ. Out of her now. Out! Thank you, Jesus. Just lie her down. She's going to get up. Sir, I'm, I'm looking at this man and I'm seeing witchcraft because I'm looking at a man who is already dead. Not even that he's dying. Somebody that they've already killed. He's already dead. Get a chair and keep him. Let him sit down and you pray. What you guys will do is just try to talk to him. I need him to hear what I'm saying because I want him to lift his leg. Can he see me? Madam, you are his wife. You will, you will help us, eh? And be talking to him. Give him a seat, please, so that we don't waste time. Daddy, you're welcome, sir. From where, sir? What's the issue? Who brought him out? I, I came with my neighbors. What's the issue, sir? Okay, is the mic working? Is the mic working, Lawrence? His mic. Sir, can you hear me? 
Please you. come. I'm looking at you and I'm seeing a problem. Um, have you gone to the hospital, sir? You've gone to the hospital. Yeah, to who has glaucoma? It's me. You. You are yes. the one who has glaucoma. Yes, sir. Because I'm seeing a writing on your head and it's written glaucoma. Yes, sir. That you have glaucoma. Yes, sir. This problem started like eye problem. Yes, sir. Then it moved to your hands. Yes, sir. And now it's on your leg. Yes, sir. And it's like stroke. Yes, you will be healed right now. Amen. The Lord himself Amen. is going to perfect Amen. you. Amen. Daddy, hold this mic. Shout, say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I declare. I declare. Now. Now. Stroke. Stroke. Live my life. Live my life. Blindness. Blindness. Live my life. Live my life. Now. now. In Jesus' name. In Jesus Please come name. up and jump. Come. Come up. Come up. Come up. Go ahead. Do what you believe. Do. do what you believe. Do. do what you believe. Come. Walk. also has an eye condition. Please look, sir. Can you see people? I can see people. Could you see them before? Yeah, but I can't recognize them. You can't recognize them. But now, can you recognize them? I can see them, but not fully recognition. Sir? No full recognition. No full recognition. The Lord has started something in his life. He could not, I mean, glaucoma and then down to stroke. You can see him still limping. Daddy, in the name of Jesus, you came with somebody. Where's the person? Who came with him? You are wearing a white scarf on your head. Who is that? Is there someone like that? Come. You are the one. Is this your father? No, sir. My neighbor. Your what? My neighbor. Oh, that is she's your neighbor. We are going to pray. And then God will bless you a thousand times. I'm going to pray for you. Daddy. Say in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. The power of the enemy. The power of the enemy. Over my life. Over my life. Will not die. Will not die. Be made whole right now in the name of Jesus. Please exercise yourself and go in your liberty. The Lord perfects your body in the name of Jesus Christ. And for you, I'm going to pray for you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Help her, please, in the name of Jesus. How can a, a lady like this, planning her life like any other person, now this girl is mad. You look at this. This is real madness. It's not like you said child's play. Eh? She came back from the office on Monday, then she started reacting. She came back from the office she mad. Said, yeah. You see, let me tell you, look at this. It's one thing to leave your house quietly. The Bible says there are arrows. She came back from the office when? On Monday. And then I heard just, can you imagine? You got up and went to work and came back mad. This is the world we live in. Are we together now? Let me tell you, wickedness is very, 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 very real. Very real very real mama that woman in on yellow please come i don't know you but the lord is saying that your joy needs to be restored one two why am i seeing you there's a line between you and that lady with red this one holding your hands what is the relationship between two of you come my friend she's your friend you came together yes. i'm seeing a light left you and to her and then the lord is saying i should pray for you because it's the same thing two of you are going through we have to pray for you number one your joy your joy needs to be restored and then number two your health you are feeling pain in your stomach i have to pray for you so that they will tell you five Carriage. words mm -hmm, madam let me talk to you now did you tell me miscarriage mm -hmm. because i'm seeing something growing huh and it's paining you and this thing will make you to be bleeding unusually it's fibroid you are bleeding unusually and this thing is not just miscarriage because for the miscarriage a man appears to you in the night and once you see that man the next thing is you have miscarriage but we are going to pray madam can i pray for you where are you from ben benway ben, boy, I stay in Zara. you stay in daraka let me pray for you madam the Lord needs to restore your joy because there are things I cannot say here but one of your major requests 
is the fruit of the womb. Is that true? The fruit of the womb. And I see you even praying that if possible, let God give you twins. Yes, sir. Is that true? Yes, sir. And you are asking that the Lord will give you twins. Yes, sir. And I'm going to pray for you yes, because those twins will pray that God will give Amen. you twins. You believe it? I'm not a herbalist. Lay your hands on your stomach. We have to pray. There's a man that appears to you. This is demonic. In the name of Jesus and by the blood of the eternal covenant, I set you free from all this nonsense around your life. In the name of Jesus. Ma, I pray for you. You desire children. God will not just give you children. May he give you twins. In the name of Jesus. And that formation of fibroid in your body, we cause it right now. You are feeling like fire is moving around your stomach. In the name of Jesus Christ. A supernatural miracle for you. In the name of Jesus. Let me pray for you. Ah. You are not married. Are you married? Um, because I, I wanted to pray the same thing and the Holy Ghost is telling me you are not married. But you are about to marry. There is somebody in your life. He has engaged you. Eh? Is that true? Yes sir. Who is the person? He has engaged. Is that true? You are engaged to marry. So I have to pray for you. Hi. My sister, don't be offended though. There's serious witchcraft in your family. I'm seeing this witchcraft coming from... Where is Otuko? In eh? Benue State. What do you have to do with Otuko? There's one of my own today. But me, I'm from Otuka. Mm -mm. Just answer what I'm telling you. What do you have to do with Otuko? Who is there? He's my own. Father, in the name of Jesus, your marriage will be successful. Look at me. I don't know how you do this, but don't allow them to do anything on you that is demonic in the name of marriage. I'm seeing something that has to do with you and a tree. Just, I don't know what I'm saying, but be careful. In the name of excitement of traditional marriage, they initiate people into nonsense and rubbish. I pray that the Lord will help you. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Please lift your hands. I want to pray. Um, God wants to do a very spectacular miracle in this place right now. There is someone here you completely cannot see with your right eye completely cannot see with your right eye but a miracle is going to happen right now completely cannot see with your right eye wherever that person is in the name of jesus i command that you begin to see with that eye now i command that you begin to see with that eye now i command that you begin to see with that eye now please check yourself very quickly check yourself very quickly while we are doing that there are there are a number of people and when i pray for you if you get healed and you, and you, you find out that you're in that category just come out quickly let's save time i want to pray for people right now i'm seeing people who have been having severe pain around the chest region like your heart yes some of you when you wake up in the morning severe pain severe pain the lord is healing those people right now right now please check yourself and if you see a miracle run out here there is a miracle happening to somebody right now check yourself severe pain are along the heart region miracles are happening right now right now as i speak only those who are healed of this miracle make your way to the front i see a miracle happening to somebody right now make your way to the front celebrate them they are coming celebrate them they are coming jesus is touching people your chest i see a miracle around the heart region very quickly please save our time jesus is killing people right now koinonia is this how you celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles celebrate miracles the chest area there is power power in the name of Jesus to break every chain break every chain hallelujah check it right now is there any pain is there any pain like look at the boy is even crying how long quickly just testify one minute quickly 
Turn face the crowd quickly. Like, it's okay, you don't have to cry. Up to modern poise. Uh, the pain comes as if when I'm breathing. When you are breathing, you feel the pain. And right face. now, check it, do what you couldn't do. Completely, no pain. In the name of Jesus. That miracle never returns to you again. Mama, any pain? Let's take a few testimonies. No pain. Completely. For How long has it been? It has been there for years. For more than five, three years. More than five years. Yes, Please check it now. We want you to confirm. Look at this. Look at this completely. The pain is gone. The anointing is even on her. Help her, please. Help her. How long, my dear? Please, those who have been healed, just come here quickly. We'll give you some. Just turn, face the crowd very quickly. Organize yourselves, please. Ushers, help them. How long has it been? What's your name and how long? About two years ago. How is the pain like? What is describing for us very quickly? As Don't worry. She's, she's after, just here. Be after patient. I eat. After I ate food. Uh -huh. then, I'll my then you'll chest. be struggling your chest. Is, it, is there pain now? Is there pain? Check it. Make sure you are telling the truth. If you lie, we'll clap for you, but you are the one who will suffer. Praise God. May the Lord bless you in the name of Jesus. All of you, all of you healed of that pain. Lift your hands. Let me pray for all of you right now. In the name of Jesus. Supernatural miracle. It never returns. 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 Give Jesus praise. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Give Jesus praise. In the mighty name of Jesus. My goodness. I just saw a spectacular miracle in the realm of the spirit. There is someone here who has just been healed of pile. Please check it. I want you to come and testify. You will be very surprised. Pile has just been healed right now. Right now, supernaturally. Pile has been healed. Please, if you can check yourself, I would like you to check yourself. Let someone check you so that it is not a lie. Pile with intense pain. And God is healing that person right now check yourself and when you check yourself please let me have the person come forward and then we'll come and testify and god will give you a dramatic 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 miracle pile make sure you check and let the person come out in the name of jesus there is a lady at overflow too not the first one the other overflow um your name is blessing your name is blessing Please, if there is such a lady like that, can you quickly run before we start ministering to cast out every devil and pray for the sick. God is touching people. Please, the person with pile, go and check yourself. A lady with the name Blessing. You are wearing white, white jacket like sweater. Is there somebody like that? Blessing. Outside, overflow too. Where is she coming from? Please, always confirm. Where are you coming from? The other overflow. What's your name? Blessing. Where, is, where are you from? Hold my hands. God is going to give you a miracle and he's also delivering your family. Your family needs deliverance. Huh? Your family needs deliverance. Hold my hands. For God to have located you is because he loves you. Be set free right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I'm hearing the name of someone and you are my namesake. Your name is Joshua. You are outside. Please come in. You are outside. Come in. God is bringing deliverance to this lady and her family. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. A supernatural miracle. God is bringing deliverance for her family. They will never be the same. There are four of you that are supposed to be here with this name. Four of you. Please stand here, all of you. hallelujah i'm going to pray for you come god is going to use you huh god is going to use you mightily i'm going to pray for you my friend you you love god but god needs to help you huh do you hear how sir kajiko you have bad friends we are going to pray for you huh in the name of jesus sir look at me god is going to help you who is a trader in your family mother eh? my mother what does she trade my mother God wants to change her story. Amen. Hold my hands. 
you are going to start having strange revelations and an anointing is going to come upon your life right as i'm speaking to you now an angel of the lord you'll feel something like a crown being put on your head is a mantle it doesn't mean you should just go and start ministry but it's to tell you that god will use you very mightily father confirm your word in his life it will never be the same in the name of the lord jesus christ tell your mother that a prophecy has come for the family that god is about to lift the family are you hearing what i'm saying and you look like an ordinary person but you are going to hold a lot of money in your hand there is an unction there is grace for finances upon you there is grace for finances upon you where's Ejimi, please he's going to go let him lay his hands on you there's grace for finances that will come upon you and you will never be the same i have to pray for you you love god but you are in here you are out here you have bad friends come follow me your friends are not good people where are you where are you you are in samaru here yes sir huh yes sir you love god yes sir is it too much of a price to leave your bad friends it's too much ah father in the name of jesus christ i pray because God wants to use you as a savior to your family. Are we together? But you see, hold on, please. Let me talk to you. If you really want to be great in life, it doesn't matter whether you grew up with the same people. You must have the courage to tell some people, I love you. I'm not, I don't have a problem with you. But since you are not just going my direction, let me tell you, you can't play games with God and 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 you this god is not a herbalist that you pray abracatabra with if you are serious with god then go for him are we together i love you and in the name of jesus christ i pray that every spirit of rebellion will live your life in the name of jesus there is hmm, this is this is i don't know why god is giving me this kind of instructions here please don't feel embarrassed there are two boys and one lady two gentlemen and one lady here you need to be prayed for you have an uncontrollable appetite for stealing please don't be embarrassed ordinarily i will not ask you to go out there are two of them it's not like you're a bad person anything you see you must carry one lady and two guys please come out we're just going to give one minute there are so many things we need to do this is a revelation god is giving me please this is a family of faith we are not saying you are a thief but this has brought so much trouble to you please whether you are inside or outside don't be embarrassed there is a lady in this list and there are two gentlemen wherever you are please as you hear the word of the lord make your way to the front you need to be delivered you have tried to stop using willpower it's an addiction you don't use willpower to end supernatural things make your way to the front and i'll be glad to pray with you make your way there's somebody like that i'm i want to pray for this guy but god is saying i should wait for that case there's somebody like that let's celebrate him you are the one there's one more gentleman and a lady one more gentleman and a lady please there's nothing to be ashamed of this is a family of faith please very quickly just one minute there's there's so many other things we have to do sata stealing no matter what happens you can't stop it where's the other brother please don't delay us it doesn't take time to know you have this problem because it's a challenge that you've been trying to solve let me tell you something you see ba these things are spirits it's not whether you are a thief or not if it comes upon you it will make you act that way you may not even use what you are carrying but you will still carry it anyway please where is the last person don't delay us let's pray come let me pray for you before i pray for them the last person quickly summon the courage to come and join them very quickly so that i can minister to you the lord will anoint you the lord is saying i should tell you he's restoring your family Huh? where are you from i don't know why god is visiting benway states today where are you from from benway states god is visiting benway people in very strange ways it's like the miracle service is for benway people
Benway people. There's a lady self from Benway who is going to be under the anointing now. As a testament of this thing I'm saying. Hi. This God. I don't know. I don't know. This is my God. Make sure she's from Benway. Where is she from? No, 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 no. Don't, don't worry. Don't feel embarrassed. My dear, I love you and I'm very proud of you. Right? Look at me. Can you go? Come. You love God, but there's one boy around you. Send him a text this night that Joshua Selman said he should never come around you again. Hmm? Don't feel bad. This, this, I'm not, I don't hate people, but number one, this boy is a, is a small boy. He doesn't even know what he's doing. Two, um, please, there are things I cannot say here. Huh? Are you ready for a child now? Huh? Yes. She's saying yes. Uh, no. Okay, well, who knows? I mean, Mary was 14 years when she had Jesus. So, please, but on a, on a serious note, huh? you love God, you are a serious lady, but... There's something on you that makes bad boys. Bad boys. The moment they see you, you look at them, you look at their eye, you know that they are not serious Christians and they keep coming to you. But there's one that's been disturbing you. Send him a text and say, Joshua Selman said, please, please. He, he should come for, bring him for Koinonia next week. Let God help you. Yes, instead of driving him, let God help you. Are we together? So I'm going to pray for you. Listen. There are many more people who are bigger thieves that have refused to come out. Are we together? So don't ever be embarrassed. You see, when you ever point one finger at people, make sure that others, be sure that others are pointing at you. I want to pray for you so that you'll be free. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen and amen. Where is our Benway lady? Careful, please bring her. I want to use her to speak a prophetic word. There was a time it was Kogi, right? Remember. So today God has decided, hold my hands. No, 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 the other hand. I want to pray. Watch what happens now. It's called signs and wonders. These ones are not miracles. They are signs and wonders. They are faith boosters. The Lord is with this lady visiting Benway people right now visiting Benway people right now right now God is visiting Benway people those altars now now in the name of Jesus the son of the living God every territory of Benway that has tied the lives of people down I hold this lady as a point of contact inside and outside the anointing of God will fish them out by power I command those altars those altars you come under siege tonight in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ you get the glory you get the praise you take the honor I just want to say thank you you get the glory, you get the praise, you take the honor. Listen, you will watch all these people come to testify. They may not even know what is happening to them. You are not just falling for nothing and you don't even have to fall for it to show that something is happening in your life. But there are visitations that God is giving people grace in your life and your family in the name of Jesus I pray for you I command that spirit to leave you forever no appetite for stealing not only is God delivering you from stealing lust leaves you now in the name of Jesus every lust leaves you now in the name of Jesus my brother I command a miracle for you right now give me your hands in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ in the name of Jesus Christ there's somebody here you stole fuel 
you stole fuel and this thing brought a problem but you kept quiet it's a spirit god wants to set you free please don't feel embarrassed fuel like um fuel pms i don't know if it's you know fuel for something i don't know what it's for but you you found yourself stealing that fuel to do something with it i don't know what it's for please i want to pray for you because the person you took that thing from pronounced a curse are we together please that's why i want to pray for you we have to pray right now and then I'll, I'll minister to the sick please if there is such a person i want you to come out or maybe someone you know there's nothing to be embarrassed about you're seeing us praying for people you stole fuel it may not be that you are a bad person you see fundamentally people are not bad situations pressures and spirits make people act in certain ways that may look disdainful and embarrassing you must be spiritual to be able to love people in spite of their flaws are we together there's somebody like that oh there's somebody like that the holy ghost is still speaking to me there's somebody like that please have the courage to come forward as we begin to pray don't meet me after the service please there is grace and unction to pray for you right now this has to do with fuel that you carried i don't know whether you sold it or you gave it to someone or something like that but then we have to pray for you 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 everyone lift your voice no god is saying i should stop till the person comes out who is the person please my brother look at me i'm not i'm not i'm not um, embarrassing you right is the flesh that caused this embarrassment but you see when god shines light on you it's not unto condemnation are we together he said he who does not have sin should cast the first stone so we're not people who come and embarrass people and condemn them the person you took the foil put a curse upon you and the curse is that nothing you enter will stay in your hand and that's what i want to take away from your life that's why i brought you out are we together now in the name of jesus christ it took a man to pronounce this curse be free now by the power of the holy ghost i command that it leaves you forever 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 i take away that pronouncement from your life in the name of jesus you love the lord with all your heart and you walk in his ways god bless you please stand up and go hallelujah i'm about to minister to the sick right now very quickly and while I do, you can you can just bring the lady to front i'm still praying for her hallelujah sister talk to her sister my dear look at me look at me how are you how are you are you fine what's wrong with you you don't know that's how she has been oh that's how she behaves she hears you she actually hears you when you speak but she won't be able to respond do you know why she's not wicked she's under bondage and we're going to pray for her right there's a reason why i ask you to keep her here i keep laying my hands on her from work she came back i'm praying i don't know who did this thing but in the name of jesus as he's leaving you it will land on that person's head <laughs> some of you don't like the prayer i'm praying i say it again whoever brought this it must land on the head of the person it's because they didn't do it to your sister or to your brother that's why you leave your office and return mad what if she's the breadwinner of her family that whole family has come under siege let me pray before we let me prophesy to you before we pray in the name of jesus any human agent who has partnered with the realm of the spirit to bring the pain in your life i pray this night is a night of judgment for them this night is a night of judgment for them i say it again this night is a night of judgment for them this night is a night of judgment i command judgment for them i command judgment for them judgment for them judgment for them any human agent i say it responsible for your pain i command judgment for them
while we ask the sick people to come out please if you came here trusting god for healing now is your moment while they are doing that please let's have all the prayer requests just something has happened to her just carry her and put her aside somewhere make your way to the front quickly please organize yourself now is the time for healing very quickly while they are doing that please all of you write your request listen hold on please i allow you to switch off your switch on your phones if you need to and call your loved ones to forward their request for you please you can type it quickly and send it here it's not enough that you've written your request please if you even know the requests of some others you can write it and put their names because we are going to pray for those requests hallelujah you move mountains you cause walls to fall help me you perform miracles there is nothing Standing only because you one more time. Do you move mountains? You cause walks to fall with your power. You perform me. There is nothing that's impossible. Worship team, you're going to help us. Look how many people have come to be healed. I thank God because God has found a place where he can communicate his healing power to his people. Now, we're going to be very, very fast. This is not for the rest of us to be distracted. Everyone, you should be writing your prayer request and you should be praying. Because after this session, there's going to be a massive impartation. There is, there is need for grace and unction for us. And so we're going to pray. Hey, Jimmy, please come help me. We're going to be praying for the sick. Please, listen. It doesn't matter who prays for you, whether myself or hey, Jimmy, there's a corporate anointing, okay? So we're praying for you. Um, the moment they pray for you, don't leave one line and come and join another one. Just a touch. You don't even have to say what is wrong with you. If we ask you, that's all right. If we don't, please. If there's a prophetic word, you will be given. If you are not given any word, some of you, when I touch you, you now get angry because I didn't prophesy. Look, let me tell you something. This thing, you don't do it just the way you want to do. At least not for me. Are we together? So, it has, if there is no word for you, just believe. And then when hands are laid on you, don't just go back to your seat smiling. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do before. If you have to go to the hospital, then you should go to the hospital for test. Are we together? And if there are still people sitting down and not coming out because of the crowd, please make sure you join them. There is a reason why we lay hands like this. I don't do this in other meetings, but then so that we can make contact. Worship team, help us do the best you can. God bless you. Father, let there be miracles in the name of Jesus Christ. Hold on. Hold on, please. How many months pregnant are you? Eight months. We have to pray. I'm seeing them cutting you. CS, but we have to pray for you. They gave me the list. They gave you the list. Do you believe God can turn things around? Yes. Cry. There is a God that we serve. Immediately I looked at you. I saw them cutting you with a knife. Huh? Don't cry. I don't know what the doctor said, but in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Ghost, in the name of Jesus, there will be a miracle for you. The baby will adjust to his normal position and he will come out the way he should come out, like the Hebrew women, in the name of Jesus Christ. A supernatural miracle is happening to you right now, in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Go ahead. God bless you. When I pray for you, go back to your seat, in the name of Jesus Christ. Be healed right now. Heal now. Standing here, not knowing how we'll get through this test. 
miracle for you. In the name. But holding on to faith, you know best. In the name of Jesus, healing for you. Nothing can catch you by surprise. You got this figured out, and you're watching us now. And when it looks as if we can win, you wrap the in your arms and step in, and everything we need you supply. You've got this in control. Now we know that you made a way. When a box were against the wall And it looked as if it was all about you You made a way And we're standing here Breakthrough, 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 breakthrough You, you came for it, breakthrough way. You are entering the realm of breakthrough Supernatural breakthrough yeah. Not just healing but breakthrough by the power of the Holy Ghost, I open the doors right now in the name of Jesus. And we're standing Out. 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 only because you made And we're standing here Carry the baby, please. only because you made And we're standing here only because please, you if someone, made If someone is backing a baby as they are laying hands on the person, ushers, please help so that you move the mountains. Uh -huh. Lord, you move the mountains. Lord, you move the mountains. Lord, you move the mountains. Hallelujah. Everyone say after me in the name of Jesus. Please shout it. The meeting is still on. In the name of Jesus. I declare that every power that wants to stop my testimony, the Lord rebuke you. Lift your voice and begin to pray. Lift your voice and begin to pray. You are doing yourself good when you are praying. You are doing yourself good when you are praying. You must testify. They're singing that every power, every high thing must come down. So you pray. Let her go now. Out! 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 Go! Are you praying?
my turn to testify in this season and every power that will stop me from testifying I come against it in the name of Jesus in the name of Jesus hallelujah say after me in the name of Jesus come on shout it inside and outside in the name of Jesus every legal access that the devil has over my life and over my family by the blood of Jesus that access is broken lift your voice and pray 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 every access please make sure you are praying this is part of the meeting every legal access the devil has over my life by the blood of the eternal covenant by that which Christ has done on the cross I come against it in the name of Jesus Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Say in the name of Jesus. My door to the next level. Hear the word of the Lord. Be open now. Lift your voice and pray. Command that door to open. The access point to the next level of my life and destiny. I command you to be open. I command you to be open. Revelation 3 verse 8. I have set before you an open door. No man can shut it. Are you praying? your hands on this prayer request Lord it must be turned to a testimony lift your voice and pray I'm praying on your request there is a covenant of answered prayer in this house we invoke that covenant my covenant will I not break nor alter the thing which is gone from from my lips Shake it, take it, take it, 
Sekete pus, mambo koto patata, rekete teke kete, ebro soto prekete. Lord, have respect for the covenant in this house. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Let there be miracles. Supernatural miracles. Breakthroughs. 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 Shepo koto pekete. Eke te koto soto koto. Makata pakata rekete. Rekoto so pekete kete kete. Parokoto so prekete, embrakata la ba 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 ba. Miracle so God, miracle so God. Hallelujah! Join me, shout a loud amen in the name of Jesus. Is that the best in the name of Jesus? The Bible says, "Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come." I tell you, fire is burning in this place. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, every request that has been dropped before the God of heaven, we turn it into a testimony now. We turn it into a testimony now. Be turned into a testimony now. Be turned into a testimony now. Between now and the next miracle service, strange answers, strange answers, strange answers, strange answers. The way I'm walking upon this prophetically, in the name of Jesus, that's how you will walk upon every challenge. I step upon it prophetically. Everything that has mocked God, as I step upon it, as help them please, as I step upon it by prophecy, I decree in the name of Jesus that that's how you rise above the challenges. Hallelujah. Lift your hands. There will be a drastic impartation here right now. Just five minutes and we're done. Drastic impartation. Listen. The anointing that is coming upon you is an anointing upon your gift. It's time for what you carry to speak. Lift your hands, everyone. In the name that is above all names. At the count of three. My God, a massive impartation. One, two, three. Take it. Take it. Take it. Receive that impartation. Upon your gift. That impartation. All over this building. Is yours for the taking. It's yours for the taking. Produce results. Produce results. Produce results. Hallelujah. Listen. The unction for supernatural results. In the name of Jesus. That your results are not ordinary. I stand by this apostolic and prophetic office. And I command at the count of three. Let it fall like rain supernatural results one two get ready three take it take it take it take it supernatural ministry supernatural business supernatural family oh, oh, oh. help me Of results you have not seen in your life your business and your ministry I prophesy to you go and produce that result from today go and produce that result from today from today I prophesy it I program it upon your spirit go and catch fire
whatever has refused to work in your life you have tried and tried and it has refused to work by this unction tonight we force it to work in the name of Jesus hear me all those trusting God for jobs you have done everything you know to do the door is not opening in the name that is above all names go and get your miracle job go and get your miracle job go and get your miracle job every family going through stress and tension you don't even know what to do i pray right now the force responsible for the pain in your family tonight judgment upon them judgment upon them judgment upon them judgment upon them hear me every idea every concept you need to rise to the next level of your life i pray for you in your dream in your sleep through visions may those ideas be revealed to you help them please i want to pray for students now the kind of exams you have never written in your life the kind of cgpa the kind of breakthrough take it now take it now take it now take it now help them take it now take it now hear me every spirit that makes you blank when you are writing exams it comes under fire now it comes under fire now whoever is holding your breakthrough the key to the next level of your life in the name of jesus between now and the next miracle service they must look for you i prophesy it they must look for you hear me you will not look for them they will find their way and look for you i pray for you everyone here who has developed his gift what you need is for god to send those who have what it takes to honor it i pray for you listen hear me there is a way you can preach before men who don't need your grace they will rubbish your ministry and make you look like an idiot there is a way you do business in the presence of those who don't even have what it takes to value what you carry but i'm praying for you there is an unction that directs men only to those who can pay for what they carry rabbi help him help him help him help him help him help him in the name of jesus that grace may that anointing direct you right now right now right now right now right now right now everything that has refused to grow here whatever god has given you that has refused to grow in the name that is above all names i command it to grow now i command it to grow now i command it to grow now let me speak over your finances many of you have given many of you have sown seeds but the harvest is being trapped somewhere i pray for you the force that releases the harvest of men i command that force to be at work for you now 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 hallelujah whatever
covers your glory for men to see and bless you you are walking physically but it's Ichabod the glory is covered as a young lady you are beautiful but there's nobody to say I want to marry you I command that sail covering your glory be open now be open now be open now be open now arise shine arise shine arise shine hallelujah two more prophetic words and we're done it says and thou shalt hear a voice from behind saying this is the way in this season you need direction everything is not the way to go hear me please hear me there are people right now your bailout is to know what God wants you to do that he told you to do it yesterday does not mean he's still saying do it you need a fresh instruction I open your spiritual ears your sense of perception your sense of perception your sense of discernment be open now be open now finally I pray for you everything that is upon this ministry is supposed to show in your life so if there is honor honor is when God positions men who discern what you represent and openly celebrate it it's called honor honor is not something you lobby for it's not a political position he said you shall call the sons of Aaron and you shall take some of your honor and give them Joshua sorry I want to pray for you listen do you know what honor is let me tell you the truth honor is better than money money can give you things but it may not give you honor honor is when men can rise up and fight for you because they want to preserve what you represent it's called honor he says and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren there are people who do not have honor in their life let me tell you how you know there is no honor in your life there is no helper honor is when men can stand before you and say before you touch him you must touch us honor when a ministry does not have honor you beg for everything you pay for everything you explain everything honor is when men god puts men at the gates to plead your cause you are there praying and somebody is clearing any bad air about you any bad impression about your ministry there is always a voice to say no the hand of god is upon them it's called honor i pray for you what has made you fight alone when things go wrong you explain alone nobody to help you listen this is not about prosperity this is about the ministry of men i have seen this in my life there is such a thing called the gift of men where God will raise men strangely everywhere you go that there must always be a man to advocate for you it's an unction otherwise whenever things go well or go wrong you pay for it by yourself whether things go bad or things go well you pay for it it's because that honor is not there are we together? lift your hands I want to pray for you receive that prayer from the depth of your spirit because it will change your life the grace that God has put by covenant upon this house he said that I, he entered a covenant with David that there will never be a man the throne will never lack a man I pray for you at every point of your life those who must arise for you I bring them into your life through the mantle of honor through the mantle of honor may that anointing come upon you now let it come upon you now in your going out in your coming in be honored 
be honored. Listen. Everywhere you enter, that grace that distinguishes men, let it come upon you. Hallelujah. Jesus will bless you. Jesus will lift up your name. 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 Give us five minutes, please, everyone. No moving around. There are people here who need to give their lives to Christ. Hear me. The Bible says that this is a testimony that God has given us eternal life and that this life is in his son. Please pay attention, concentrate, no moving around. It says he that has the son has eternal life. There are two groups of people right now. I want you to rush out here quickly. Those who have never committed their hearts to Jesus. You have never at any point in your life surrendered totally. I don't care how many times you have come for altar call. You have not made a genuine decision for Jesus. Number two, there are those who have given their lives to Christ. But the pressures and the vicissitudes of life have pushed you to a point where you have derailed in your walk with God. And you are saying, man of God, I need restoration. Wherever you are, please don't waste our time. Our time is gone. The Lord is calling you right now. And I want you to make a genuine commitment. Rise up and walk to the front right now. Rise up and walk to the front right now. Inside and outside. God bless you. People are coming. God bless you. People are coming. Please clear the way for them. Run like there's fire on the mountain. In all the overflows. All those following us online. You may not be able to come out. But prepare your heart to make this prayer with us. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Go ahead and say today is the day I will make a decision for Jesus. There are still people God is asking to come out. Don't be ashamed. Make your way to the front. No matter what you have done, there is a new beginning for you. You're deserving of more. 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 Hallelujah. Thank you so much for answering this call. I'd like you to lift your right hand to heaven. If you are still joining them, please make your way. It's not too late. We are not reciting a poem. This is a serious prayer that will determine your eternal destiny. Say after me very clearly. Say, Lord Jesus. Those online followers, say, Lord Jesus, I love you and I believe in you. I believe you died for me and you shed your blood for my sin. This night, I accept you as my savior and I receive eternal life into my spirit. The power of sin and Satan is broken over my life forever. From today, I'm a child of God. I'm saved. I'm born again. In the name of Jesus, keep your hands lifted. Father, thank you for these ones. Nobody can come except you draw them. I pray that this that they have done as simple as it looks. Oh God, I pray that this will be the reason for them to not only spend their eternal destiny with you, but to live victorious lives here on earth. In the name of Jesus Christ, every power of the flesh of sin of Satan is broken over your life. From today you move forward ever and backward never in Jesus name. Amen and amen. Thank you so much for making this most noble prayer. I'd like you to follow the gentleman waving his hands. They will have your details and they will, will communicate you in due course. God bless you. Appreciate them, Koinonia, very quickly. Hallelujah. Hello. Scriptures exhort us from the book of Proverbs. It says, My son, attend to my sins. Incline thy ears to my words. Let them not depart from thy eyes and keep them in the midst of thee. As you have listened to this message,
We believe that you are going to reap the blessings thereof if you attend to these words as well. That you will keep these words in the midst of your heart. That no matter the circumstance, your eyes are going to be fixed on these words. And as you have been blessed, we will tell you to share this message. Be an evangelist by sharing to others to be blessed. And then subscribe to this channel for us because we have loads of videos. We have loads of content that is going to make you blessed. That is going to set you on course. That is going to set you ablaze. And don't forget to like for us. Thank you.